Okay, guys. So I'm going to start with example one. Actually, before I start with example one, I'm lying. So this is what we've already done. Okay, so in terms of limits, we've done something like this. I think it was like chapter three. And then um, the limit as x approaches negative infinity, it means when x is really, really, really small on the left side, what is the y value basically? So we said, okay, as x approaches negative infinity, the y value gets really, really close to this horizontal asymptote, which is negative 1. So we would say the answer to this is negative 1. And then the limit as x approaches 2 on the positive side, so here's x equals 2 on the positive side is to the right, so not to the left, but to the right. I see that my y value is going down, 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 so it's negative infinity. So this is really, what is the y value basically, okay? So the y value is basically this. Okay, so looking here, I know it says finding a limit using a table, but really it's just what is the y value for this at x equals 3. So a lot of times you can just plug in. So I'm going to plug in, and then you get 45, okay? Um, this is really similar. So for this one, if you just try to plug it in directly, you're going to get 0 over 0. So instead, we've done this before, where we have to factor it, and you get x plus 2, x minus 2, divide, divide, and then eventually you get to this. And then you plug it in, and then you get 4. That means that this is really... Um, a line, because we got crossed out on top and bottom, this is a line with a hole in it at x equals negative 2, or sorry, x equals 2, there's a hole, so 2 comma 4, there's a hole in that line, okay? Um, what is this? The answer to that is 4. So this is a line, and this is a line with a hole in it, okay? Um, but the answers are both 4, okay? And then for something like this, for something like this, you try to plug it in, and you actually get zero. So you get zero on top, zero on the bottom when you plug it in, and that's no good. So it says find the limit using a table. So they kind of give you a table over here, and I'll show you how to make the table by yourself. But in this table, you can see we're getting really close to zero. Zero is right in between a 0 0.01 and a negative 0 0.01. And it would actually say error, because really the y value itself is zero over zero, which to us does not exist, so it's going to be error. But you can see that the left side and the right side get really, really, really close to 1. So that's why the answer is 1. So when you're using a table, you just look at the left side, you look at the right side, and you go, are they going to the same place? Yeah, they're really close to 1. So that's your answer. Okay. Um, and then finding a limit using a graph. So this is the other part that I'm asking you to write down. So using a graph, okay, so we look at the left side, we look at the right side, and then we look for the y value, basically. So a y value is different than a limit. So the left side here goes to n, the right side goes to n, the y value is at n, so yes, the limit is n. Right here, the y value itself is up here. So this is the y value but the left and the right limit go to the same place. So the left limit, I'm really looking, like I'm blocking everything except I'm looking at the left side and going to where that C is. So it's going to right here. And then this is going to the same place. So the limit is actually right here at N. So the limit is N, but the Y value is up here. And then for this one, the limit is N and there is no Y value. So when there's a hole, there is a y value, sometimes it's somewhere else. Sometimes when there's a hole, there's no y value. But when there's a hole, there is a limit. And these three limits are all the same. I know, it's kind of weird. Okay. Um, finding a limit by graphing. I know it says graphing, but we can do it a couple of different ways here. So one way is graphing. If you were to graph it on a graphing calculator or just on paper, you can see that the y value here is at 2 comma 3. The y value is 3, but the limit is at 4 because that's where the hole is. And that's where the left side and the right side are getting really close to. And you can see it here too. The y value is at 3, but the limit is at 4. You can also plug in. So like if you plug in 2 here, then you would get 4. And then if you plug in 2 here, 
uh, you get 3. So if you plug in 2 here, this is saying everything is true here except for the 2. So everything here works except for x equals 2. Oh, no, it doesn't work. There's a hole there. So at x equals 2, it wants you to fill it in at 3. So y value versus limit. Okay? Number 5. Uh, there we go. So number 5. So on the left side, it's 0. And then on the right side, well, sorry, on the left side, you just plug it in. On the right side, you just plug it in. And then this is a 1. That's really weird. So for this one, you might want to draw a picture. So if you draw a picture, and this is why it says um, by graph, basically, for this whole part. So if you draw a picture, you can see on the left side, the limit as we go to 0, so the limit as x goes to 0, is really close to, well, on the very, very left side, we're getting close to y equals 0. But on the right side, we're getting close to y equals 1. 0 and 1 are not the same thing. That's not just a hole. It's like a jump. Like You have to like jump up onto the other line. So there's no limit here. Okay, So this has no limit because the left side and the right side go to different places. Literally, the left side and the right side has to go to exact same place. And then even if there's a hole, that's where your limit is. But if it goes like this, if it goes like this, there's no limit. Okay. Okay, so this one, it says using a graphing utility. So I'm going to show you how to use a graphing utility. This is really weird, so don't worry about this. So this is how I would do it on a graphing utility. So here is my fake graphing calculator. I'm going to turn it on. I already put the y value in here. So I just copied it exactly. So go ahead and copy it. And then if you graph it, it looks a little weird, but that's okay. It doesn't even ask you to graph it. So it doesn't even ask you to graph it, but that's okay. Um, so I graph it. Mm, I don't really know what I'm looking for. It says 2 as x goes to 2. So as x goes to 2, it looks like it goes somewhere. There's actually a hole there. How do I know there's a hole there? I'm going to use the table. So then I go to my table. So second graph. And then I see an error right at 2. Okay, so here's the other thing. There are fractions here. I don't want to see fractions. This is how you change it away from fractions. Because when you do alpha y equals, then a lot of times you get fractions here. So you go to mode. You go down to answers. And see how answers, it says auto. This one says decimal. So I want it to be a decimal, and this one says fraction approximation. I want it to be a decimal. I'm going to press enter. I'm going to go back to my table, and now I have decimals. And I can see at 2, there's an error, and I don't really know what's happening to the left and right. This is not close enough. I need more decimals. See how many decimals this has? So I want a lot of decimals. I'm going to go to table set. So second window. And then I want my table to start at 2 because that's what I want to see, <laughs> okay? And then I'm going to change, this is the change in table. I'm going to change that. Instead of going by 1s, I want to go by like, let's say, 0 0.001. I'm going to go crazy, 0 0.001. So then I'm going to go back to my table. You can see that my table starts at 2. It says error, okay? I'm going to scroll up. And then... On the right side of 2, so a little bit bigger than 2, I have 0.888. On the left side of 2, I have 0.889. That's really close. So the limit as we approach 2 is 0.888, or you can say 0.889. That's fine. Okay, so either one of these. They're so close to each other. You can say 0.8885 would be even better, okay? And they said it's 0.889, so we're really close, okay? You can see the left number and the right number are really close to each other. If this was 0.888 and this one was like 5, then it would have no limit, okay? All right, so there you go for the read and outline, and then you guys are doing like three problems on um, the homework part, okay? All right, I'll see you on Monday.